Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 23rd. Our readings are 1 Samuel chapter 2, Isaiah chapter 48 and Revelation chapters 5 and 6. And our thought is, then suddenly. Our readings today are particularly interesting. Our first reading, 1 Samuel chapter 1, sees the birth of Samuel. We have read of the ups and downs of the era of the judges. But now come to Samuel as the final all-wise judge, a type of Christ that God works through to lay the foundation for the era of the kings, beginning with Saul and David. Isaiah's prophecies are bringing us towards the end of the era of the kings. The Lord is frustrated with the attitudes of his people, as he must be with the Christian world today. Today's chapter 48 starts, Hear this, O house of Jacob, who are called by the name of Israel, who swear by the name of the Lord, but not in truth and right. God tells the prophet of things I declared of old. Then suddenly I did them and they came to pass. We think of the initial promises to Abraham, the deliverances from Egypt, the initial fulfilment of the promises to David. We will read in 1 Samuel in coming weeks. But this week in Isaiah, we will read the detailed prophecies God gave him about the Messiah. Although the Jewish scribes must have known these, they had tunnel vision as to what they expected the Messiah to do. The message of the explicit prophecy in chapter 53 was lost because of preconceived notions in their minds. Is there a lesson in this for us? Have we preconceived notions? Our readings in Revelation complete the dramas in today's chapters. While often in symbolic language, they frequently include phrases such even sentences from Isaiah and other prophets. Compare, for example, today's chapter 5 verses 15 and 16 with Isaiah chapter 2 verses 10 and 19 of events when the great day of their wrath has come. Revelation is not all symbolic language, especially of how, of how the time of God's wrath is followed by a new song. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. You ransom people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. Chapter 4 verse 11 and chapter 5 verse 9. What a wonderful vision. But first it is vital we acknowledge that our world today is in near total spiritual darkness. Then, suddenly, God will act. The increasing turmoil in all the nations surrounding God's holy land is ominous. The last verse of our Revelation reading asks us the question, Who can stand in the great day of their wrath? Are you effectively building up your faith so you can? Read and reflect on God's word every day. And thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm -hmm.